Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Murli of 11th of April, 1981. And the title is Transforming the World with the Power of Truth. Which gathering is this today? This gathering is of the lawmakers and the bestowers of success. Does each of you consider yourself to be a lawmaker and a bestower of success? Do you know the specialty of this gathering? Bestowers of success have a special power with which they can make everyone become an embodiment of success in a second. Do you know which power that is? It is the power of truth. That is reality. There is greatness in the power of truth. Importance is given to the truth. Do you very clearly understand that truth, that greatness? The special method is based on truth. The first foundation is to check the truth in the knowledge of the self, which is the form of the self. What is your true form and what did you use to believe it to be? Therefore, the first truth is the form of the soul. Was there any greatness in you until you knew this truth? Were you those great souls or were you the worshippers of those great souls? Now that you know yourselves, what have you become? You have become great souls. You have the authority of truth to tell others that you are souls. In the same way, by having received the true introduction of the true father, you tell others with authority that God is your father because you have a right to your inheritance. You say that the father belongs to you and that you belong to the father. Because of this, you can relate the true introduction of the creation and the world cycle with this authority. You tell others that this world cycle is going to end and that it will then repeat once again. You say that it is now the Confluence Age, not the Iron Age. Even if all the scholars and pundits of the world believe, according to the scriptures, that it is now the Iron Age, you five Pandavas, that is, you handful of souls out of multi-millions can challenge them and tell them that it is not the Iron Age, but the Confluence Age. With which authority are you able to say this? You are able to say this because you have the great authority of truth. You give the message to the world to come here and understand this knowledge. You awaken the sleeping Kumbhkarna and tell him that it is now time. You can do this with the power of truth that you have been given by the true father, the true teacher, and the Satguru. You experience this to be the truth. There are two meanings of the word truth. One truth is the truth and the other truth means that which is immortal. Therefore, the Father is the truth and He is also the immortal one. This is why the introduction you have been given by the Father is that He is the truth. That is, he is the true immortal one. Devotees sing praise of God as being the truth, the benefactor, and the beautiful one. They believe him to be the truth and the immortal one. People also believe God is truth. 
So, you have been given the authority of truth by the Father. You have also been given this inheritance. You have heard the praise of those who have the authority of truth. What indicates who they are? There is a saying in Sindhi, when there is truth, the soul dances. There is also another saying, the boat of truth may rock, but it cannot sink. Many people also try to make you fluctuate. They say that this is just your imagination and that it is false. However, you know that when there is truth, you dance in happiness because you have the intoxication of the greatness of truth. You constantly swing in the swing of happiness. You constantly dance in happiness. The more they try to shake you, what happens? In fact, when they try to shake your swing, you swing even more. They don't shake you, but just swing you more. In fact, you should give them even more thanks because you are swinging with the Father and they are making you swing. They are not shaking you, but swinging you. Do you experience this? You are not shaking, but swinging. The power of truth makes the whole of nature Sato Pratham. It changes this age into the age of truth, Sat Yuk. It makes all souls attain the fortune of their salvation. With your power of truth, all souls will incarnate into their own religion at their own time according to their own capacity. From liberation into salvation. Even those who come at the end of the confluence age are definitely going to receive the message to remember the Father from you lawmakers. Some will receive this message from your words, some from your pictures, some from news, some from your powerful vibrations, some from the final chaotic scenes of destruction, and some from the atmospheric attitude of disinterest. All the facilities of science will also help you to give everyone the message. Nature's part of cooperating with you at the confluence age will start. People everywhere will invoke you, Prakruti Pati, Lord of Nature, and Master Prakruti Pati. The whole of nature will offer you thanks and offer itself. What will you do then? On the path of Bhakti, each element is praised as a deity. A deity means a bestower. So, at the end, all of the elements of nature will cooperate with you and become bestowers who constantly give. Even the oceans will help you. They will help you by gathering everything together from everywhere and bringing it to the land of Bharat. This is why it is said that the ocean gave platefuls of jewels. In the same way, the earth's upheaval will help you by gathering all valuable things together in Bharat for you elevated souls. The deity Indra is called the God of Rain. Therefore, even the rain will be prepared to clear away everything for you. You won't have to clear up any rubbish. You will receive all this help 
from the elements. Some will be blown away by the wind, and some will be cleared away by the rain. You know about fire anyway. So at the end, all of these elements will become deities to help you. All other souls will experience this. Then, on the path of bhakti, it will have been forgotten how the elements helped as deities. Then, because the task of the elements will have been forgotten, the elements will be given human forms. The sun is an element, but it is portrayed as a human being. Therefore, having become lawmakers, do you now understand what you have to do? They have courts of law. This is the gathering of you lawmakers. In those courts, there are members of the court. Whereas here, you are the great souls who have all rights. Therefore, do you understand the greatness of the power of the truth? Truth is like an alchemist stone. Just as an alchemist stone could turn iron into gold, in the same way, your power of truth makes everything Satopratham. It makes souls, nature, time, the whole of matter, all physical things, all relationships, all sense scars, all your food and diet, and your interaction with everyone, Satopratham. It completely destroys all names and trace of everything Tamoguni. The power of truth makes your name and form true. It makes you imperishable. For half the cycle, you are in the living form, and for the other half, you are in the form of your image. For half the cycle, you people will sing your praise, and for the other half, your devotees will sing your praise. Your words are praised as versions of truth. Even today, people experience greatness when they are given even half a version of yours. With your power of truth, even your country becomes immortal. Your dress also becomes immortal. For half the cycle, you will be dressing as deities, and for the other half, the memorials of you dressed in the costumes of the deities will continue to exist. Even today, your devotees dress the idols of you with beautiful dresses. Your task and your activity have become true. They have created a memorial, the Bhagavad, of your activities. Many stories have been written about your activities. All of these have become immortal. Due to what? Due to your power of truth. Even your daily timetable has become immortal. To eat your food and to drink your nectar has become truthful. People take your images, place them in a prominent place, go around them, offer poke to them, place nectar in front of them, and then drink it. Each of those acts and tasks is performed in memory of you. Did you realize that you have this much power? Do you challenge others and serve them? with this much authority? You new children who have come mustn't think that there are only a few of you. You must remember that the almighty authority is your companion. You have the power of truth. It isn't that there are just five of you. 
but the creator of the world is your companion. Speak with intoxication of this. You don't wonder as to whether they will accept you or not, or whether you should tell them something or not. Do you? Where there is the truth, and when you have the true father with you, there is constant victory. Speak as an embodiment of this experience and the basis of your faith, and success will be constantly with you. Just as all of you have come here, so Bab Dada has also come here. You had to come, and Bab Dada also had to come. The father has to sit in someone else's body. You have to sit in a train, and the father has to sit in someone's body. Do you experience any difficulty? Even your children and grandchildren are yet to come. Even the devotees are going to come. So what will you do then? The devotees won't allow you to sit down. At the moment, you are at least able to sit comfortably. However, at that time, you will have to comfort others. You have at least received three square feet of land. Devotees, do tapasya while standing in one place. Your devotees queue up to see your idols. So, you too should experience this. You have come here to eat the fruits of the season. Bab Dada is giving special love to all the new children because he knows that all of you who have come last will go fast because of your constant and deep love. You will become the destroyers of obstacles and thereby become victorious jewels. In the physical way too, the younger ones are better at running than the older ones. Therefore, all of you should race ahead and claim the first place. Bab Dada constantly helps all those children who have such zeal and enthusiasm. Because of your yoga, you have the father's Say yoga, cooperation. You can make as much progress as you want with these two things. You now have this chance. Later, there will no longer even be time for this. To those who constantly maintain their greatness of truth, to the lawmakers for all souls, and the bestowers of salvation to all souls, to those who have the power of truth within themselves and thus make the world Sato Pradhan, to the father's loving and cooperative children, Bab Dada's love, remembrance, and Namaste. Bab Dada meeting a group. Do you constantly experience yourselves to be powerful souls? Every thought of powerful souls would be powerful. Service should be merged in every thought you have. Remembrance of Baba should be merged in every thought you have. A character similar to the Father's should be merged in every action you perform. Therefore, do you experience yourselves to be such powerful souls? When you have the Father's name on your lips, the Father in your awareness, and his behavior in your actions, you can then be known as being as powerful as the Father. Are you like this? There is only the one word, Baba, but this is a magic word. Just as you change 
the form of something when you perform magic, so too the one word Baba changes your form and makes it powerful. Your virtues change, your actions change, and your words change. This one word is a magic word. Therefore, all of you have become magicians, have you not? Do you know how to perform magic? As soon as you say Baba, you should make someone belong to Baba. This is magic. Bab Dada meeting groups. Have you created your fortune of receiving blessings from the bestower of blessings while you have been staying in the land of blessings? The praise of being allowed by the bestower of fortune to draw the line of your fortune to whatever extent you wish is a blessing of this time. So, have you used this time of blessings and place of blessings in a worthwhile way? What blessings have you claimed? Just as the Father is full, similarly, have you had the determined thought to become as full as he is? For children, it is said, a child is equal to a master. So a child would be the father's master. In order to maintain the intoxication of being a master, you have to become full in terms of being equal to the father. The father has the specialty of being full of all powers. He is the almighty authority. He has the specialty of having all powers. You children who are masters should also have all powers. You shouldn't be lacking a single power. If you lack even one power, you would be called one with powers, not one with all powers. So, who are you? To be someone with all powers means to be able to control your physical senses and do whatever you want. Because you are masters, as soon as you have a thought of something being done, it should happen. So all of you are self-sovereigns. You first have sovereignty over yourself, and then you have sovereignty over the world. All of you are living in Delhi, are masters of the kingdom of self. Are you not? You have to have this sense scar for a long period of time. If you just become this at the end, when would you receive the kingdom of the world? If you wish to claim the kingdom of the world from the beginning, you also need to have these sense scars from the beginning. To have a kingdom for a long period of time, you have to have these sense scars for a long period of time. Nothing is too great in front of a master almighty authority. What are you residents of Delhi now thinking? Are you thinking that it's enough that you built the great sacrificial fire? Your stage is now ascending, is it not? You now have to go further than what you have done so far. As you make further progress, your kingdom will come. At the moment, you have to carry out your work in someone else's kingdom. However, at that time, it will be your kingdom. Then, even nature will offer you everything. What will souls do when even nature offers itself to you? Souls will bow their head in front of you. So what should you do now? 
You have accomplished everything you have done so far successfully with courage and enthusiasm. Bab Dada is pleased with the courage you have showed in this. The efforts you have made are already accumulated in your account. You have created something for the present and for your future. Because seeds of service are imperishable, some sound has already emerged and other sounds will continue to emerge. You have sown seeds and many souls have received the message in an incognito way. All your tiredness has now been removed, has it not? Because you constantly receive Bab Dada's love and cooperation, you will continue to make progress. Delhi has also received the blessing of being an instrument for performing elevated actions. It is the birthplace of service. At least its name is mentioned in the history of service. Many of you have received facilities for service. Those who live in land of service already received this blessing. You have worked very hard. Acha, blessing. May you be an embodiment of remembrance and remain full of happiness and all attainments by constantly remembering your fortune according to the time. On the path of devotion, in memorial of you souls who are embodiments of remembrance, even today, your devotees remember the specialty of every activity and become lost in a subtle, and unique experience. Therefore, how many experiences would you have attained in your practical life? Simply experience the awareness of your form according to the time and your actions and your treasure store of unique happiness and unique attainments will become full. The soundless chant that will then emerge in your heart is that you have attained everything you ever wanted. Slogan, in order to claim the first place, simply step in the footsteps of Father Brahma. Special thought for International Day of Peace. Third Sunday. I, this soul, am a seed and am sitting with the Father, the seed, and donating peace and power to the whole tree. Om Shanti.